You guys, we all have heard about Selena Powell TikTok that she made about a famous singer's boyfriend to slide in her DMs trying to fly her out. And everyone in the comments thought it was uh, Clarence. Now, this was like a few days ago, probably a week ago now. Clarence has decided to speak out and clear his name up. We're going to take a look. We're going to take a listen. See what he says. Why y'all be playing with me like that? They playing with you. Why y'all be playing with me like that? Y'all know, y'all know damn well. I ain't trying to fly nobody out. Save it. I was with my mom all weekend. He's with his mom all the weekend. The only one I'm flying out. That's a good. That's a good. That's a good one, ain't it? Save it. Stop putting my name in in things that my name is not even in. All right. So that's pretty much. He's innocent. He's saying he's he's denying all allegations. He say, listen, it ain't happening. I told y'all what this is. To me, this is a. This is an attack on queen right before she as soon as she dropped her podcast now everybody want to mess with her and now it's like you know what i'm saying it makes her not want to drop it because now it's like do i address this situation and the answer is no you don't address it actually you just keep moving like how beyonce and jay-z do they don't never address none i be telling people you ain't gotta address nothing like at the internet talking about the ddg and holly and all that stuff like that you ain't gotta address nothing just let them talk that's what I so my question for y'all is, do y'all think, because Queen does have a podcast. Let's go to it. All right, so Girl Talk, let's talk about it, episode one. So she has not dropped episode two just yet. But um, if y'all are interested in her podcast, just go to her channel and then it'll be right there, her YouTube channel. So my husband was saying pretty much that the whole Selena Powell thing was like an inside attack to mess up her mind so she don't do this podcast because you got to think if it's a cheating allegation as a woman it could be mess with your mental to where you're not motivated to pursue your podcast next topic we have is yanni in brooklyn and y'all know that they are no longer friends um according to the comments they were a pretty good duo but um this track started dropping allegations started rising uh one of the allegations was yanni messed with brooklyn's ex now i don't know if brooklyn was dating this dude when yanni messed with him or it was after they broke up or they was you know i don't know but his name is chucky ceo and he has went live and spoke on the situation you got it you, you feel me? The devil work. You feel me? Just wanna f up my love, you know, my love life, love life, not my life, cause I'm still, you feel me? I'm still gonna smile. I'm still gonna be happy for another 24. Are you a brand new content creator and don't know where to start? Want to gain subscribers and views but don't know the basics on how to gain a following on social media? Are yes. you looking to become a successful streamer, a YouTuber, TikToker, media outlet? Well, welcome to Cloud School, where we guarantee all of our custom viral social media strategies work consistently on every social media platform. And we teach you how to obtain the clout that you desire. We tell you what to post, when to post, what content works in your niche, hashtags, titles, and descriptions. All created organically because AI currently can't help you with the algorithm of clout. Welcome to clout class, ladies and gents. Let us become the professors you need to succeed. Hit us up now on my IG at Kierchne or email us at truvstudios at gmail.com and text I need clout. You feel what I'm saying? As we are, should. But you feel my love like you dumb bitch. I does not need it, uh, Chucky. Back to yours. Yeah. Little dumbass. I ain't gonna lie. I'm mad. I even, I'm mad I even let you see my dick. Because you, like, that's the bottom of the barrel shit. Like, I should never even let you eat. Eat dirty ass. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, you know what? I cannot. I cannot let you guys listen to Mr. Chucky's language. It is too foul. 
Okay, but pretty much he is confirming that Yanni did some things to him. Okay, I'm going to play a clip of a new video that Yanni dropped with Maj and Emily. I think that's her name. In this clip, one of the questions was, does Yanni miss Brooklyn Queen? So my only question is, starting with you first, do you miss Brooklyn? Sometimes, but after everything, like, I don't have no problem with you. I just wish things ended differently. I do miss you sometimes. Okay, respect, yeah. okay. All right, what was the second question? Let's take a look. I think that Brooklyn is weird and she only used y'all for your for her content. Yeah. Yeah? I feel like I feel like I was a pawn in her scheme. I, and, and I never said that out loud. Like, I loved her to a great extent, but I honestly feel like I was a pawn in her scheme. And I, you cared about her, but she didn't care. Like, she, she cared about you to a certain extent. She extent. cared about me to a certain extent. And I can't say I feel like she cared. She loved about, me to a certain she extent. She loved me to a certain extent, but then it was like after a while, it was like, okay, you're not beneficial no more. You can get the f on like everybody else did to me. So it's like, okay, cool. So what made you stay? What made me say where mm -hmm. the love I have for her, mm -hmm. the love the like I love the shit out of her. Mm -hmm. I feel like what messed us up was when I started going up, like around somebody else, and it's like you know. I ain't gonna lie though, I'm gonna be real with you. This this off the record, but I now I'm tipsy. I ain't next time to see you. This is too good drink, but I was envious of that. <laughs> you were comment down below your thoughts on the the two clips I just showed y'all, and then Emily, we got Emily. Spilling her heart out because they're drinking uh, Don Julio. And she said this is off the record. And they still, they didn't edit it out. They kept it on there. So Emily said that she was envious. Of uh, what, Brooklyn Queen's friendship with Yanni? Or, or um, Yanni, Yanni's friendship with someone else. So Emily probably wants, like, a, a good friendship. I think everybody probably desires, like, a friend that you can trust. That it never snake you and stuff like that. But... The thing is, people just got to get certain evil out of their heart to become that friend. And, you know, until these young ladies get this stuff out of their heart, unfortunately, you're going to, you know, it's, it's just like a cycle. So Yanni's going to meet another girl and it'll be good in the beginning. And then, boom, she probably going to snake her. Yanni can snake her or the girl can snake Yanni. And it's just constant cycle until you get that stuff, that hate and that evil out of your hearts. Comment say, baby, you're sitting right across someone who's using you for content. If y'all making content on both channels, then how is it that she used you? Hmm. Yeah, that's a good question because usually influencers like um, collab. So if they was doing content for Yanni's channel and content for Brooklyn's channel and it was like even, then yeah, I don't know, but. What did she gain from y'all? She was benefiting more than Brooklyn. She didn't bring nothing new to Brooklyn's life but more stress. Do you guys agree with that? I don't know because I'm still fairly new to Brooklyn and Yanni. Y'all yeah, know this, this this King Sid situation with the Nate so ugly and um, Smooth Geo, the editor. It's like a lot of drama. I am going to look into it get the clips get for my opinion and my thoughts and all of that stuff and then i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna drop another video for y'all probably tomorrow because it's already this one gonna be late um so yeah if y'all know about the king's Dead situation feel free to leave some comments in the in the uh comment section but um pretty much king Sid is being exposed for being a i don't even know what to call it but like kind of like no i don't want to i don't want to compare it to puff daddy but y'all see what puff daddy is going through like you know everybody is like coming at his throat that's the same thing with king's it like everybody's coming at his throat 